Uh, when we get ready to start the well integrity test, we will first uh, cease production through the Q4000 and the Helix Producer 1. Uh, we will then uh, divert all the hydrocarbons up into the new capping stack. Uh, valves through the uh, kill and the choke lines uh, for the new capping stack will be opened and the center uh, bore is already open. So we will be venting basically through three different uh, uh, exits on the capping stack, the kill line, the choke line, and the main line going through the uh, bore. Then in sequence, uh, we will attempt to close the stack down and assess the pressure readings as we do that. The first thing we will do is close the main ram. There are three rams. The middle one will be closed. That will basically shut off the flow outward through the top of the capping stack. At that point, we'll take pressure readings. We will then close the uh, kill line, which is the uh, second remaining outlet, and take pressure readings. Uh, the third and most critical will be the choke line. There's a special device that has been built on the capping stack. You will see it. If you look at the video, it is, it is yellow, it is long horizontally, and then there's a curved up pipe for the uh, exit of the hydrocarbons. Uh, that choke line will be controlled by a remotely operating vehicle, which will slowly close it incrementally. And this is going to be very, very important because we want to measure the amount of closure, which will be measured uh, radially by turns uh, of that choke line valve uh, by an ROV, simultaneously taking pressure readings. The goal is to slowly close that down and understand the changes in pressure as we are closing it until uh, that choke line is closed. At that point, uh, there will be no hydrocarbons exiting from the capping stack and we will go into a period where we're going to start uh, taking pressure readings. <clears throat> it will go in basically six, 24, and 40-hour increments depending on the results.